welcome back to my vlog. We are here in Naples. We are getting a pizza lunch. I will explain more about um, what we're doing after lunch and once we land in Positano because I know there's some music playing wow. here, so you probably can't hear me. guys, we made it to Positano. We checked into the Hotel Savoia. I feel like so much has happened since I last talked to you guys, but we took a ferry from Naples over here um, this afternoon. It was about a 45 minute ride. It wasn't too bad, but um, now we're here. It's a really cute little hotel. It's not too far up um, the steps of Amalfi, but it felt like forever with all of our bags. Hindsight being 2020, I think we would probably pay for someone to take them up next time because it was a killer walk and definitely something that's not like super glamorous about travel as well as our Naples like taxi ride from the airport. It was just totally crazy, but that's like a whole other story. Um, I'm really excited to be here in Positano and to show you guys around. We're gonna go walk to dinner at Shea Black. It's really highly rated. It looks like such a cute little restaurant. We know people that have been there and they had really good um, opinions of it. So I'm excited to get some Italian food, but let me show you my outfit. I know it's not the best lighting here, but it's just this green um, long straight dress from Old Navy actually. I got it for like six bucks and I really, really like the neckline. I thought it looked kind of some like something they would sell at like Zara or Princess Polly, but it was so affordable and I love it. <laughs> You will notice that I'm wearing my hair up. That's because it is very, very hot here. But we're gonna go grab breakfast at our hotel and then we're gonna go spend um, the day at the beach club late in Kanto. We made reservations online. So um, that's the plan for today. It's a very chill day. We've been traveling and moving around a ton, doing a ton of walking. So we're excited to have a chill day. Over top of my swimsuit, I'm wearing this like white linen set from Express. I really, really like it. It's very comfortable and perfect for the beach. We made it down to the beach. We're at the Lot Encanto Beach Club and we're first row so you can see all the umbrellas behind us. We're so close to the water. It feels so nice and this is honestly the most gorgeous beach I've ever been to. I am like so obsessed. Got our Aperol spritzes in Positano, and they came with a watermelon. Oh my god, it's so good. You and me, yeah, that's all I need, and I'll be alright. I'll be right here. I swear that I'll stay here with you. Getting ready for dinner. We're looking a little crisp. My eyes are really red from the salt water. You're looking a little pink too. Oh, no. But we don't have any dinner plans. We're just gonna kind of walk around and see what we can find. It's really hard to vlog like when you're walking up and down the cliffs because there's like a lot of people and you're also like walking up and down hills. So it's really hard to like do two things at once. But we had an amazing time at the Lot and Kanto Beach Club. We were sitting front row. So we had a gorgeous view of the um, cliffs and just all of Positano. It was really, really stunning and it just felt like a dream. Mm -hmm. We loved swimming in the ocean. The water was like the most perfect temperature out of any water I've ever felt. It was so nice. We got our Aperol spritzes by the beach. <laughs> I will say the one thing, I feel like the La Encanto um, food for like lunch wasn't like the best, but um, you know, it was kind of touristy, but other than that, we really, really liked it, and I definitely think it's worth it. Like, a lot of people say it's too touristy, too crowded, whatever. 
they've never been to Myrtle Beach, they've never been to Ocean City because it really wasn't like as crowded as I was expecting it to be. So, um, but anyway, that's the update. Now we're gonna go to dinner. Mm -hmm. And my dinner fit is this Lily Pulitzer dress. I just had to bring something Lily Pulitzer for this trip. Nick actually got me this dress a couple Christmases ago, so I really like it. guys so we are headed to capri today we're going on a little boat trip to capri it's about an hour boat ride i'm really excited because if you guys watch um anna hyde i love her vlog so much i know when she went there she said capri was like her favorite place on earth so i'm really excited for it let me show you guys my outfit I'm wearing this yellow lacy dress from Express. This is actually my favorite outfit I've worn on this whole trip. I don't know why, it's just like so simple. Yet I just, I love the fit of it. I think it's really feminine, really cute. I love the color and I think it's perfect for Capri because they're known for lemons. But our plans today are just to kind of explore the island. We have uh, a, rest, uh, a reservation at a restaurant called Al Capri for lunch. It's supposed to have a really pretty view of the island. I'm going to do some shopping. I haven't really done any shopping since we got in Italy. Um, yesterday we just spent so much time in the ocean because we were loving it and I feel like neither of us were either like super big beach people but we were just like loving the ocean. It was the perfect temperature. We were so close to the water. It was really really scenic so we spent so much time at the beach that we didn't do any shopping, but I need to shop. I want to get a few souvenirs from here. So um, today will be more of like an exploring shopping day and I should be able to vlog more um, since we won't be at the beach. Love. We already had our lemon slushies. We didn't vlog that because they went down quick and it's very hot. But we walked in a couple stores and we're gonna probably go in a few more and then make our way to the funicular to go up to the top so we can get lunch.
just finished up our lunch at Al Capri. We decided to have a second Avril spritz because it's literally so hot and we have this gorgeous view here and we don't want to walk around just yet so we're like why not get another spritz but the meal was very delicious and I'm very stuffed. We split a pizza and some raviolis. Do you have any thoughts? It was very good and the view is something, it's something else. Yeah. We're back from Capri. We were very sweaty and had to take another shower. Uh, my honest thoughts on Capri is I think it was a little overrated. There wasn't much to do there except fry in the sun, but it was a pretty view. <laughs> and we did like Al Capri. They had good food. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I'm looking a little crisp. Yeah, a little, a little crispy. But we did get our engagement pictures back today, which made me so happy. So go follow me on Instagram if you want to see them because I made a post and they turned out really, really nice. But um, we changed into mm -hmm. some of the simple outfits for dinner mm -hmm. and we're gonna go get something to eat and have a fun little night. It is another day here in Positano. I'm wearing this polka dot bathing suit from Target. The hair is up. It's supposed to be a little cooler today, which I'm actually excited about, but we are going back to the Lake Encanto Beach Club, which is like on the main beach here. Um, yesterday we walked to Da Ferdinando Beach Club and it's like a little bit off to the side of the main beach, but it's actually a really far walk. So we decided we didn't really want to go there. Even though I saw a TikTok where it's like, it's a short walk from the main beach. Listen, here, you don't want to do any extra walking. And I consider myself a pretty fit person. I do a lot of spin. I do a lot of cardio. I do a lot of running. And I don't want to walk that far because here, like a 10 minute walk is like literally 30 minutes because of the hills. So we're going back to the main beach club because we had a really great experience there. And we love just being so close to the water and... You can order drinks there and they have a place for you to go to the bathroom and it's just like everything that you need is right there so it's really convenient so uh we're going back there not many things in europe are convenient so when you find something that is take advantage of it but um, i'm gonna put on some sunscreen and we're gonna grab some breakfast and then have another fun little beach day Mojito. This one tastes good. I had one in Paris and it was made with Canadian whiskey. It was so weird. And honestly, what is that? What did you get? This is bacala. It's a fish. It's so small. Allegedly. <laughs> So it's a little bit after five and we're back from the beach. I didn't vlog much because, you know, it's kind of hard whenever you're at the beach, but we had a really nice day. I got a chicken Caesar salad for lunch. Um, we had some spritzes on the beach and it was just another super fun day in the Amalfi Coast. Tonight we're going to dinner at Lo Guarancino. Um, I think I have a reservation there. I made a reservation via email, but they never emailed me, emailed me back. So we shall see. I've kind of noticed that's sort of a thing here. You don't always receive confirmation back when you make a reservation, but then we're gonna check out Music on the Rocks, which is this like club in a cave. And I found it on TikTok. And I've also been hearing like a lot of people talking about it, like down um, by the beach and at restaurants and stuff. So it seems like it's gonna be cool. It's supposedly like a disco club. So I don't really know what that means. We're like, is it Italian disco or is it American disco? I don't know. We're just gonna check it out and see. Um, we typically don't really stay out late here. It's just honestly too hot. And we're always so tired from like everything that we've been doing. I'm just wearing this like basic blue and white striped dress from TJ Maxx. I'm honestly gonna be too hot in it. I wish I just brought like tank top dresses. 
if you're coming here in July or August, I would just recommend literally tank top dresses. Like, don't even bother with sleeves, you'll be too hot. Because I was gonna wear this dress from home. It's like really pretty and flowy and long, but I, I just know I'm gonna sweat in it. So I opted for this one. Um, I guess I'll show you guys the souvenirs that I got. I got some of these like limoncello candies. I think I'm gonna give these to my parents. And then I got um, like a print of the Amalfi to hang on the wall. We also just ordered a couple um, photos from our engagement in Paris. So that was so fun. And again, I've been posting them on Instagram. So follow me over there if you want to see them. And maybe I'll pop a few on the screen here. Um, but I'm really happy with them and how they turned out. Also, um, probably in the Paris vlog, I'll link the photographer in the description box in case you guys are interested because she did a really, really great job. It was a team of um, two, it was like one main photographer, one main videographer. Yes, we have a video and then they had an assistant. So it was a team of three women and they were so nice, so helpful. They did such a great job. We're on the way to dinner. Mm -hmm. You can see the beautiful Amalfi behind me. This is also the way to Dove Fernando Beach Club. So our hotel is like way back up there on the cliffs. It's not like way up there, but it's pretty far back there. And then you have to like walk down the beach and all the way up here. And then you keep walking. So it's really, really far. But we are just walking to dinner right now with this stunning view of the ocean behind us. had our most favorite dinner in Positano yet. All of our other dinners have been a little rushed, but this one was perfect. It was overlooking the uh, Fernillo Beach and it was so nice. It was just <laughs> great food. Honestly, the best fish I've ever had. I had um, sea bass uh, with potatoes and the bread was really good. Sauvignon Blanc was on point. It was delicious. Mm -hmm. You had like a big assortment of fish. Yes, it was perfect. And now we are walking to Music on the Rocks, which we've heard a lot of hype about, and we're we're ready to disco. So <laughs> that's what we're doing for the rest of the day. How unexpected love was found. You're the rose in a garden, and it shows if I'm honest. very slow morning we're finally going down to the beach i'm wearing this one piece from h&m it's like blue and white striped and i really like it today feels like the hottest day here so far i think we both literally have like heat exhaustion because we're just like so hot and like a slow moving <laughs> and it's just it's been a struggle today honestly like positano looks so glamorous but just remember you have to eat outside for every meal of the day and there's no air conditioning. 
And also our calves are killing us because you have to walk literally so much. So it is a really beautiful place, but don't let the internet fool you. It's not always glamorous. Today is our last day in Positano. I'm looking a little rough today. I'm just like so hot and tired, but we're leaving Positano. We're taking a ferry to Naples and then we're gonna take a train from Naples to Rome and finish out our trip. We did cut our trip short by one day because of this strike that's going on in Rome at the Rome airport. So um, our trip was supposed to be till Saturday, but it's a day shorter, which I think is good now because I don't know, I think I'm just ready to go home, but um, we had a really nice stay in Positano. Really liked the Hotel Savoia, definitely recommend them. Um, I would not try to stay any further up the cliffs than here. There's just a ton of walking. So we're gonna go grab some breakfast and then catch our ferry um, and then be on our way to Naples. Hey you guys, we have made it to Rome. We took the ferry and we took a train and then we took a cab and it's been a very, very long day. I'm gonna end the vlog here because we're honestly not gonna be doing any sightseeing. We're just gonna have dinner here and then tomorrow our flight leaves. So thanks so much for following along and watching um, the Positano travel vlog and any of the other Europe travel vlogs that I put up. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.